All right, guys. Well, welcome back to the channel. Some of you guys probably saw this shenanigans uh, back when I was, I've been posting some YouTube shorts and stuff on Instagram. If anybody follows me or pays attention to any of that stuff on there, but yes, I have not one but two V4Rs now, and there's a really great, really great, really great explanation for all that. So, you guys know that I had uh, my Bayless. I traded my Bayless in on the R. I bought a base model V4. And the plan was to have a V4R and a base model. Originally, I'm sorry, a V4R and Bayless, and I decided I'm going to keep the ba uh, base trade in the Bayless. There's too many terms here to talk about. But anyway, so that all changed. I decided, oh, I'm going to have a V4 and a V4R. V4 base will be my backup bike. So on my last track day that I did, on this track day in particular, back, back in September, um, I started out on the base model, and like I think I did three sessions or so and after the third session I took out the V4R and you know again the whole idea was backup bike main bike and you know if something happens something like this what um, I've got another bike to go back to but anyway you know the base model is gonna be the warm-up bike it's gonna be the learning bike on a new track whatever so on and so forth, so forth, short forth. Short forth. Short forth. After taking the base out, took the V4R out, and I swear to God, I almost rode myself right off the racetrack. Um, I absolutely crapped my pants. It, the bikes are so different that immediately I was like, it, it just, it took me a whole, like two sessions almost to get back into V4R mode. They're so different. And when you're pushing at eight, nine, 10 tenths, whatever you're doing, um, and you're you're doing 140 miles an hour. You're doing 180 miles an hour through the, the high-speed kink at Nelson The bike is so different at those speeds you can't be playing around so I kind of was immediately just like well um, I don't know how great of a backup bike this is because it is so different now if I was a street rider It'd be totally different because you can go out you can play around you can screw around. It doesn't really matter but and you're not pushing that hard on the street. You just can't push that hard on that street. But on the racetrack, you know, I didn't think it would be that different, especially when I bought the V4R. I was like, uh, it'll, it'll be different. I know that, but it's not going to be that different. Boy, was I wrong. And I need to make a really good video about the differences. Um, I tried to make a video actually on that last track day. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, wasn't my best track weekend ever. No, 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 no. Ah! So I'll make a whole separate video about that and all that good stuff. But nonetheless, um, you know, about a, I don't know, two, three weeks later, um, I got a phone call from the good people at Duke County Detroit here about a V4R somebody backed out of, and they were interested or asking me if I was interested in, in maybe buying it. I kind of decided, you know what? Yeah, if I'm gonna have a backup bike, I'd like it to be identical for what I'm doing. And so. Here we are. So the plan is on these two bikes, we're gonna build them identically. These bikes aren't just gonna be track bikes anymore. I mean, well, they are, but um, we're gonna be turning these into full-fledged race bike race bikes. Um, so kind of some big news that kind of goes along with this is that I got myself a title sponsor for next year for racing. So it's not just gonna be track days anymore. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna be doing track days. I, you know back home at Nelson, Grattan, I want to go up to Road America again, all that good stuff. But that title sponsor just so happens to be Ducati Detroit. You guys probably know I buy every single thing basically that is related to motorcycles from this place. I've started here from day one. Um, I actually met this goon over here through Ducati Detroit. I'm trying to stay down. I look like She's I'm trying to... She's working on her stealth mode. It looks like you're like a Thank monkey you. taking a dump. <laughs> so yeah, so we're uh, we're going racing, and part of the whole racing thing was, you know, and we talked it over and we talked it over a lot. It really was like if I'm gonna have a backup bike, especially for racing, having two identical bikes makes so much more sense, and especially for the rules in Weira, it would make the base model if we built the base up to what I was planning on doing, which was like, you know, the shock, damper, and everything else. And it's really, it's mostly the suspension is, in suspension wheels is where the problem lies, is, you know, the base model doesn't come with good suspension. You could do the internals, but you're pretty limited. And for super stock, you have to run base wheels. Well, the base wheels are like, well, not these base wheels, but the base wheels on the, the base V4 
are like a metric shit ton and a half and the bike turns like a dump truck versus you know these guys they're they're really only about i think a pound and three quarter or two pounds lighter than or heavier i'm sorry than the, the mags that i put on the v4r so you're really limited with the rules if i was going to run in super stock super bike and then unlimited I, i'm going to be limited if i did crash the v4r with uh the base model so basically just came to the conclusion it's it's best and especially after like i said after that day at nelson where i basically shit my pants riding off into a mud hole in the middle of bfe on the back side of the track i just decided this was the best way to do it so that's where we're at we're going racing we're building both of these this winter um i'm hoping to get a <clears throat> yeah sneak peek no i can't even show her i can't never mind you know what we're gonna keep that a secret um, we're going to be doing custom paint jobs, full race bodywork. I've got a absolutely horrific uh, parts and labor bill on this. I'm, I'm going to try and do stuff that I can at the shop. <clears throat> we'll see what they let me do. But uh, they're pretty much going to be building bleh, both of these bad boys for me. Um, I'd rather just spend the time working and getting the money put together for racing. So that being said, watch out for me next year. Watch out for a whole bunch of videos um, coming up on like a build series of this, you know, with big things going to be like the custom paint jobs, custom suits. <clears throat> I'm also, I really need to get on top of making a V4 versus V4R video. I tried, like I said, that one track weekend. It just didn't work, guys. Um, but I want to get a comparison of what these bikes are like compared to a base model because it is so radically different. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah, I need to probably talk about that one thing that happened where bad things happened and now I have broken parts and all that shit. So we'll talk about that in another episode too. But anyway, guys, that's about it for this time. Two V4Rs, sponsored racing, Ducati Detroit. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're excited about two V4Rs. We're going to use them and abuse them like they were built to be. Anyway, that's about it, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. And until then, I'm financially destroyed forever. This is Jake, Desmaholic Racing, signing out. Wait, 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 I was gonna start it. Too bad, bitch, I'm right here. No, <laughs> off of here.